Hello everyone, so I'm with my uh, wife today and uh, we are going to discuss together. Uh, in the West we say that Deng Xiaoping uh, once said getting rich is glorious. Do you have an opinion about this when? Uh, from, uh, from inside uh, I don't agree with it, um, but uh, in the real life uh, it's a truth. Um, if you uh, have reach, but maybe you can reach in knowledge them, but uh, people cannot see. But if you, you are rich uh, with uh, maybe a lot of apartment, a lot of car, the luxury things, people can see. So people always see uh, what uh, you, are, you get from outside, they don't see from inside. That's what I'm thinking. So first, um, you know, I was a little bit surprised about this sentence, getting rich is glorious, so I checked over the internet because everyone is saying, hey, getting rich is glorious, that's what Deng Xiaoping said. Uh, in fact, Deng Xiaoping never said it, so I found out from the internet. What he said is the Western media, they will say uh, Deng Xiaoping said this sentence, and everybody in the West will believe, knows this sentence, and they believe that Deng Xiaoping said this. But the truth is, he might have said something like this, but not about money only, about also knowledge, about uh, personal development, you know, that's what he, he was, he was probably, was, that was his, his intention to say this, not about the economy, not about the money. No, but why people make him say this? Because it's Deng Xiaoping that opened up China. Before Deng Xiaoping, China, the, the economy of China was closed. And then Deng Xiaoping, he started to get China toward the World Trade Organization inside the globalization, uh, toward the growth model. And since Deng Xiaoping, China has been developing, making money, building the real estate, and building roads, building new cities, and developing the, the economy. And everyone got a little bit better off. Some people got a lot, and some people got, got at least a little bit. Even in the countryside, people all got a little bit better off. Um, but of course, uh, I don't agree with this uh, getting rich is glorious, and I think it's a shame. And it's, I'm glad that Deng Xiaoping didn't say this, because I think he was a, probably a very clever man, and uh, he was not stopping simply at money. Uh, why it's not glorious? Because you see, when you get rich, how do you get rich? You get rich by destroying and using the resource of this planet. Uh, here, where we are standing, here, um, they used to be the field. You used, you used to have some, some trees, you had some birds, you had some animals, you had some wildlife. And what is there now? What is there? Nothing. Everything is destroyed. You have uh, these ugly buildings, uh, the same that you find everywhere. They don't look very nice. Uh, they destroy the natural environment. And of course, to, in order to build this, they used up a lot of resource. They polluted with the CO2, they polluted with the gas. And this contributes to global warming, which also destroy us and destroy the climate. And destroy the environment, destroy life on this planet. So of course getting rich is never glorious. Whenever you get rich it means you are using more and more natural resource and you are polluting more and more. So what you get someone else is not going to get it. And whatever you do someone else gets hurt. That's something that I explain. You put the air conditioning here and you have this air conditioning there and you have air conditioning all the way up here. And once you have air conditioning all the way up uh, it means uh, the people who, who stay here outside they will get uh, plus two degree plus three degree and life will be unbearable uh, you have cars everywhere then the cars park everywhere then life is more and more difficult the kids cannot uh, walk on the street safely the old people cannot walk safely uh, and of course there's the aspect of uh, the environment is more and more difficult because you have someone who gets rich and then everybody suffer from it. You see, uh, here what's happening in China, you can feel it very, very well. You know, the price of the apartment are so high that the normal people cannot buy. And uh, there's so many inequalities. If you uh, at, at people suffer because someone is getting rich, the other people suffer. So that's I see uh, how I see it. And of course, you have the the issue of natural resource, limited natural resource, and using them fast and destroying the planet. So no, getting rich is not glorious at all. Um, and uh, I don't know, I think, in fact, this kind of sentence comes from the USA because it's the gross model. So they will say, oh, getting rich is... Uh, now China is fully following the gross model. It's, 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 it's the same as anywhere else. Um, and I hope that some people will start to speak, some Chinese people will start to speak up and say, we don't want this. We don't want. We want uh, 
living a place to live. We want a healthy environment. We want something sustainable long run, but we don't need to have two cars, one car. We don't need these huge cities. We don't need uh, to destroy uh, all this environment. Uh, we don't want this. Um, it will come, but I think when it will come, there will be, uh, it will come, it will be too late and it will come with a disaster. And that's, that's my opinion about it. Bon, à bientôt les amis, à bientôt.